I had a friend, Ken. I met him in sixth grade, and um, we went on this, uh, like we met at the Soy Dairy, which was this place I used to work, washing buckets, like dirty tofu buckets. He was also a bucket washer. He'd hang up all the buckets, and we're like, all right, let's go to the carnival, okay? So he was like a really strange little guy, you know what I mean? He was like, his arms were kind of gangly in a weird kind of way, and he had freckles and wasn't particularly attractive. And uh, also just had this like weird kind of face, um, like ugly almost, but in a crazy kind of young, and he had long hair. So um, we hung out at the carnival, and he was really into the like, <laughs> the like games where you shovel quarters off the edge. <laughs> was my obsession from the statistical analysis perspective. I had it all scammed out. I won 27 packs of cards once. <laughs> Fuck the rides. Here's some gambling. You know what I mean? It was great. So um, we really got along famously. And then as I sort of made friends with the kind of more like, and sort of popular, sort of with it, smart crowd or whatever. Um, so like, I sort of had to bring him into that by force of will because he was really fucked up. So one of the ways that I'm working it is old Ken, right? You know, with these jock boys, you archetypalize someone, you turn them into a running joke, and that brings them in. So he, I sort of did this to my friend, which was like old Ken, crazy old Ken, could never get a date Ken, um, Ken crazy drunk Ken out on the back porch because um, he used to be very drunk. But he was clearly, even in the later years of high school, becoming someone who was not sane. He would, um, he would like sort of dry hump girls at parties when he was drunk and that kind of thing, like, you know? And, ah ha ha, old Ken. You know, I, even then I wouldn't go there. He was starting to kind of, and he'd be more of the kind of Ken, like passing out in the back kind of thing. And uh, he became sort of sexually aggressive in certain kind of ways. Like he would make sexually aggressive jokes, you know, and then the bitch, uh, you know what I mean? And it was just kind of like, um, and then I didn't see him till like two years ago, which was this gap of like five years. And he calls me up and he's been married. And since, um, so he's still married to the woman, but he says the, the parents are seducing her with Prozac, telling her not to see me. I've got to win her back. I'll do anything I can to win her back. I'm working at this ice freezer meat salesman. You know, what What happened? He's like, well, I got a little physical with her sometimes. And I was like, and you know, now the time and the thing that anybody does is just like, I'm not going there with you, bud. But instead I was like, oh man, you didn't hurt her or anything, did you? Or some shit like that. And he was like, well, I did have to send her to the hospital once. Her nose and jaw were broken. You sort of get that close to that kind of somebody being in that way, you know what I mean? I really have tried to do.